All right, we're done with our deck swaps, and here is the new and updated version. Uh, not a bunch of changes, but enough that we should at least mention them. So we dropped the dig through times. We're going to try Outpost Siege, as mentioned before. I didn't like it at first because I was main deck in counter spells. Now that I'm not main deck in counter spells, I think it's actually just a really nice addition to the deck. It'll generate card advantage without having uh, to have us put a bunch of cards in the graveyard for dig through time. And otherwise, I can use dragons if I have enough tokens on board and maybe just kill my opponent that way. So I like it. Versatile. Probably cheaper most of the time. Although there was a few times where I cast Dig Through Time for two mana. Uh, secondary change. We dropped Arc Lightning out of the sideboard. We're going to try just another Radiant Flames. There are certain matches where that's really good. I think the Mardu aggro matchup that's got like the, you know, Soulfire Grandmaster, Abbot of Carol Keep. Um whatever else they're running that's gets killed by Radiant Flames. I feel like there's a couple other creatures that escape me at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I think Radiant Flames would be great for that. Um, yeah, no other changes. So here we go. Let's try a couple more matches with the new and improved deck. Okay, first match of the new league. And we've got our updated deck. Let's see, we've got our Outpost Siege. Yeah, I guess we keep this. It doesn't seem like a mulligan. I mean, we've got our Removal. We've got a Hanger Back Walker. We have an Outpost Siege. It all seems pretty good. Granted, we're going to need some lands, but it still feels like a keep to me. Another Atarka red deck, perhaps? If so, we're going to burn through those roasts. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and roast here. Actually, hmm. No, I think we're actually playing Hanger Back Walker. The reason I'm playing Hanger Back Walker here is next turn I want to be able to roast plus pump. I think is better. Plus, I'd rather roast a Swift Spear anyway. Well, I'm likely going to end up roasting both. But this way, if my opponent has a grip full of Zergo Bell Strikers, um, I don't have to be overly concerned about it, right? Another question is, how good is Outpost Siege? I didn't like Dig Through Time in this match, but how do I like Outpost Siege? It's probably still too slow, even with the Dragon mode. Probably. All right, we're going to take our medicine here. Pretty tempted to burn the Lightning Berserker, oddly enough. I know you're thinking why, but because this deck runs four Zergo Bell Strikers, I feel like it's kind of to my benefit to just let it sit out there and chill, you know? So I think we're just going to burn Berserker. Even though my Hanger Back can trade with it, I'm just going to get it off the board. Like... Keeping my opponent with a grip full of Zergo Bell Strikers sounds like something that's theoretically possible. So I anticipate my opponent attacking, and when I try and pump the hanger back, burning it, but I'm okay with that too.
Oh, playing the Swift Spear too. Okay. No attacks. Well, it's good news for us. So, could play the P and Kirin, but I don't think we do. I think we, I think we just start roasting here. Let's get roasting. So I think we kill Swift Spear. Play Ghost Fire Blade. And pass. Could have equipped, but I wanted to pump the hanger back or make him... If he wants to play a Fiery Impulse on a hanger back, we're still doing pretty good with a Ghost Fire Blade out there. Opponent is at become immense territory, but that's okay too. So I think we're actually just going to block the Abbot. So he can burn it in response. That's okay, too. Okay, as expected. All right, opponent's busting. Busting his stuff here. Let's see what he does with that scry. Put a card on the bottom, all right. Did not find the goods there. Probably a Tarkus Command too, but I'm actually okay with that. Or become immense, probably. Tarkus Command, all right. This is fine. I mean, granted, we're taking a lot of damage, but opponent has one card left in hand? And Abbot of Carol Keep did not deal damage. We're doing okay. I'll say that. All right, let's play Pia and Kirin. And we are gonna swing here. So let's say my opponent's last card is Become Immense means my opponent could deal 11 damage, which is lethal. So I am going to have to at least block here. I think the plan is to just block with a Thopter. So let's say opponent has become immense. Can get through for eight. We're just going to block like that. All right. All right. Looks like that's lethal. So, opponent drew pretty hot there. No doubt. I think sieges are going to be too slow. We'll take those out. Take out the roasts again. Take out the ghost fire blades. We go impulses, radiant flames, dispels. And actually, negates. Actually... Didn't see any token generators that time. Let's just let's just do dispels. They're just cheaper, more efficient. All right, let's try this again. Let 
Okay, game two. Let's try this again. Yeah, that's a keep. Pretty nice looking hand, actually. Shivan Reef is a bit punishing in this match in particular, but as long as we're keeping dudes off the board, we're doing all right. So let's slash this one. Drop the walker. Mm, I think we're going to pass here. My plan is make my opponent do stuff on their turn. All right, he can burn it here, which is fine. Oh, didn't burn it. That is interesting. Gonna pass again. Okay. Pretty nice. So let's go Whirler Rogue. Seems fine to me, actually. I'd rather get his dudes off the board. So let's say my opponent's got a Tarka's command. Can deal three, we'll go to 16, plus another six, we'll go to 10. Or I can just trade off all for all. Opponent could also have double a Tarka's command. In which case I would take three, six, 15. Seems like a lot, because it is. Cracking in on my opponent for close to 12 next turn. I think we're just going to take it here. I'm going to let the first Atarkas command do its thing. My opponent wants to do another one. We'll fiery impulse one of them, probably. You can also tighten strength 
Yeah, we're going to let this one resolve. I forgot that this gives reach, too. Okay, so let's say um, he can't cast Become Immense now, so I think that's where we impulse. I thought it was six. Yeah, he can't do Become Immense. All right, so gave us information there. Opponent's got Become Immense. You can cast another Titan Strength. It's six for Become Immense, my friend. Titan Strength is not in your graveyard yet. All right, now you can cast Become Immense. So you can get in for 10. Hmm. It's actually a bit of a liability. to play the P and Kurnalar. My opponent would need what? In his hand, he would have to have a Wild Slash. He'd have to have a Tar... Well, two Tarkus Command, I'm dead. Tarkus Command, Wild Slash, I would die. Guess I can just swing with Thopter, Chief, Hanger back. Then if my opponent has, hmm, can I go to five? That is the question. If my opponent's got Teamer Battle Rage. Needs Titan Strength plus, hmm. I wish I wasn't one damage short of lethal here. And I'm also one mana short of sacking. All right. Well, I think we're just going to attack like this. Hope our opponent doesn't have enough to burn us out here. All right, well, thankfully won that one. I guess I didn't do that as intelligently as I should have. Um, I mean, I still like how we're set up here. Do I want the fourth negate? I don't know. I don't know. I think five counter spells is probably adequate. Although it's, I mean, those negates for Hordling Outburst are pretty nice. Plus the fact that it deals with Become Immense and a Tarka's Command. It's just a lot of things it deals with. Pretty important spells. Team or Battle Rage. Hmm. The only creatures in his deck are what? Zergo Bell Striker, Abbot of Carol Keep, Monastery Swift Spear. That's probably it, right? And the rest is like Hordling Outburst and Dragon Fodder. Hmm, maybe we will bring in the negate. I see how that could be a liability, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it stops Titan Strength too. Yeah, I guess. Cut one Sky Spawner. Seems a bit worse. 
All right, let's do this. Okay, kind of have to mulligan, even though we've got the burn spell. At least opponent's mulliganing too. Just missing drops is unacceptable. This is a good hand though. What do we got on top? Yeah, we're gonna keep that for sure. Gives us a nice turn progression here. Kill Swift Spear. Kill Bell Striker. Yeah. Doing it now so we can't pump it in response. Hmm. All right, might as well. This is a good draw. We're going to go aggregate for sure. Aggregate into Pia and Kirin. It's going to work some wonders for us. So if opponent has land, I was going to say, if opponent had land, they could have gone Titan Strength plus Pump. It still would have ended up being a two for one, though. All right. Now we're going big man. I'm going to start beating. Ooh, got the land, too. Beautiful. When Ingest does something in Standard Constructed, it's like the most gratifying feeling you could imagine. That's pretty cool. We're not going to leave it up, though. Hitting the land there would have been sick. All right, opponent found the second land. <clears throat> Does not have the green mana, however. Gonna block. Yeah. That is not good enough. got trample so not really helping these that much all right ended up beating a tarka red again satisfying opponent obviously got mana screwed but hey didn't we have to mulligan too i believe we did so no complaints on this side um, and there shouldn't be for my opponent either if I had a mulligan, right? We just happened to draw hotter. So, lost game one. Sir, I mean, a Tarka, Tarka can get some pretty ridiculously explosive uh, plays, you know? Tarka's command into a teamer battle rage for a million damage is, is tough to stop, even when you have infinite chump blockers. So, uh, good to keep in mind. But, got there. All right, we'll see you in the last match of the day.